What's up guys? My name is Brendan and this is Student of the Community. In this series, you guys send me your clips through Instagram's direct messenger and then I give you the best tips I can. That way, we're all able to learn from each other and become students of the entire tricking community. And guys, keep submitting your clips because there's a new episode of Student of the Community coming out every Friday. So with that said, let's get started. Our first clip comes from James and he's looking for some tips on his double cork. He says he's really been having some trouble with it. So guys, let's shine a light on it and give him some tips. James, that was a good double cork but you could make it a lot more powerful and more consistent. Let me give you two big important tips. The first is use your arms. Your arms were kind of tight into your body the whole time. As you're coming out of that scoot, push off the ground and swing those arms long and extended so that way you can get a ton of power out of them. You did a great job of keeping your arms close when you did the twist, but then when you land, you need to open them up again to stop your twist, instead of just drilling into the ground. And you can avoid that just by getting your arms nice and open, making a bigger body shape that will then slow your twist. The second thing I think you really need to focus on is your swing. As you swung that leg, it was pretty bent up. If you can swing with a straight leg and swing all the way up, before you wrap in that twist, your double cork will be a lot stronger and that will probably help a ton. Guys, if you have any tips for James, please leave them in the comments down below. And if you have any tips for any of the other clips, give them some help and let's all work together. Our second clip comes from Jose and he sent us a video of his double B twist. He says he's really struggling to land this trick so let's check out his attempt and give him some tips. Jose, that was a good attempt, but there is something you really need to focus on, and that is your set. When you did that double B twist, you had a great, really tight twist, and you were able to rotate the entire way around to do those two full spins. But unfortunately, you weren't able to land because you didn't have the height you needed. And you could get way more height just by focusing on your butterfly kick set, exaggerating that you dip and pushing off the ground as hard as you can with your chest and kicking up that back leg. If you can really exaggerate your set in the beginning, you should be able to get some more height and your twist is already so good. So if you can just get that height, you'll be able to land your double B twist with no problem. So next time you try it, really take a step back and focus on that jump and that butterfly kick set before you wrap in the twist, which like I said earlier, is already really good. Our third clip comes from Anthony and he's looking for some tips on his scoot full swing double cork. He says he's having some issues getting his swing leg all the way through. So guys, let's check it out. Anthony, that was really close and you could easily get the full swing double cork. But there's two things I think you really need to fix. The first is your spotting. As you came out of that full and went to swing for your double cork, your eyes got stuck to your landing. You kept looking at the ground and because of that, your chest wasn't able to do the full swing motion and your head got stuck because it wasn't able to look back. As you do your swing, make sure your eyes aren't getting stuck to the ground so that way you're able to move through the entire skill. The second thing you really need to focus on is your swing. As you did that swing, your arms were super tight close to your body, your knee was bent and you were looking down to the side. As you do that swing, you wanna start in a proud eagle position. 
looking mostly forward. Then you want to swing with straight arms and straight legs to generate as much power as possible. As you go from the eagle to the swing, you can keep your eyes mostly forward. Then once you leave the ground, you can look to spot your landing and start ripping in that twist. But you did it too early. You tried to twist before you got enough height to get you off the ground. So next time you try your scoot full swing double cork, try and really focus on your spotting to not get stuck on the ground and try really hard to swing with straight arms and a straight leg. Our fourth clip comes from our Zeke and he sent us a video of his double butterfly twist. He says he's really struggling because his right foot lands before his left. And guys, that's not the right order. So let's check it out and give him some tips. First, I want to say that was a good double B twist. You had really good height and your twist was super fast. But if you want to improve it, I do have two things I think you should focus on. The first is your twist. When you did that twist for your double B twist, you were a little bit hesitant pulling it in. You did a good job of jumping before you ripped in that twist, but you were a little bit too hesitant. You didn't rip it in fast enough. So next time you do your double B twist, the second you leave the ground, really wrap in that twist. And keep in mind, if you're going to be crossing your legs as you twist, don't let your left leg go up your body towards your hip. You want that leg to be nice and tight, locked in with your other one. The second thing I think you really need to focus on is opening up after you complete your twist. You landed in your twisting position, which is also one of the reasons you landed right foot then left. If you want to improve that, what you can do is the second you complete that twist, open up your arms and reach out that left leg to land and grab the ground. If you can focus on those two things, you will have a much better double B twist, but it is already really good. Our fifth and final clip comes from Bruce Wannabe. He sent us a video of his jackknife. He says he's trying to get the round kick better and the hook kick cleaner. So let's check it out. First, I want to say that was a great jackknife and you could definitely clean it up just by focusing on one thing, and that is your arms. You did a great job of using your legs to kick through each of your targets and to generate a ton of momentum as you did your cheat setup. But your arms were kind of lacking. They were kind of tight in your body the whole time. As you're setting up into that cheat setup, use your arms to swing to really generate momentum. And you did a good job of that, but you could do even better. And as you're executing your jackknife, your arms are going to be what controls your twist. So as that round kick comes out, you want your arms to be a little bit more open to stall you out. And then you need to bring them back in to twist you around for the hook kick. So as you do the jackknife, you want your arms to be nice and big as you do your cheat setup big as you jump and then in real quick as you throw that round kick, but then the second it hits its target, you open up your arms to slow your twist. Then once your round kick passes, you bring your arms back in to twist you around a little bit more for the hook kick. If you can use your arms to really twist you and utilize your twist as you do the jackknife, it will be a lot better and the kicks will come out far cleaner. But like I said, that was a great jackknife. So just keep training and focus on your arms. Thank you guys so much for watching and a special thank you to everybody who sent in their clip. If you want to get your clips featured on next week's Student of the Community, direct message them to me at Mastering Tricking on Instagram. And if you have any tips for any of the clips I showed today, please leave them in the comments down below. I'm sure the people who submitted them 
would really appreciate the extra advice. But that's all I have for today. If you guys want to support Mastering Tricking, please go to howtomastertricking.com or maybe even become a patron. Please have a lovely day.